like the speed of sound We can keep on the ground Can't stay in one place Keep moving like a bullet Hey guys, Golden Gear Tech here today We're going to show you how to uh, change or replace or add an Xbox 360 hard drive into the Xbox 360 Slim. Uh, some of you might not know this because it's kind of a little, it's kind of like a secret passage to get there, kind of, because it's kind of hidden. Um, but yeah, so today we'll just show you how to get there. Uh, first thing you want to, or first thing is what you're going to need. Uh, you don't need any screwdrivers, no nothing, you just need the Xbox itself. And uh, if you're going to add the hard drive, you need your hard drive in there. Or you need your hard drive itself. Uh, so what you want to do is first unplug everything from it so you don't short out or get electrocuted or get a little zap while you're doing this. The next thing is you want to go to the bottom of the Xbox and then... Here, I'll rotate it this way. And then you'll, you'll see this little tab here, this little tab where you can move back. Um, it should be on the bottom panel. You just want to push that back and up, and this little panel should come right off. And then in here you have your hard drive. Um, you can uh, To get the hard drive out, you just need to pull lightly on it, and it should come out. Uh, most of them have this little pull tab where you pull on this and it will unlock it. Um, so yeah, that's, and then again, you just push it in there to put it back in. Um, so yeah, most, if you buy a 4 gigabyte um, Xbox, it won't come with a hard drive, but if you buy something more than 4 gigabytes um, for an Xbox, it will come with a hard drive. So this, you only really need to do this if you like upgrade your storage on your uh, on your Xbox. So, so yeah, like if you buy a four gigabyte Xbox, that little bay that I showed you, uh, the storage bay, it will be closed. Or, it, I mean, like there will be nothing in it. So, so yeah, you can buy those for pretty cheap online. I'll have a link in the description where you can get one. Uh, yeah, so. Now, once you do that, you can plug everything back in and start playing. Um, that's that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope I helped you out. Please rate, uh, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more of these tech help, uh, tech tips, and all that tech review stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next Sunday.